So the Maxon Gold Cup is next then two and a half miles grade three handicap at Cheltenham. This one was always when the jump season really got underway. And at the top we've got Swain Fork Beard for Leon Van Rensburg, the Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, shooting star, a winner the last two weeks on the trot. Graham Clutterbuck, Sapphire and Steel Martin, Liam Trick Fantasy, Leon Van Rensburg, Carbon Neutral. Graham Clutterbuck, Gold Coast, Kevin Meenahan, Duffcott Collider, Joshua Sutherland, Gated Complex, Darren Thompson, The Ringer, David Robertson, Northern Life, Kevin Meenahan, Quantum Leap, Paul Road, Satic on Chips, David Robertson, Verglass, Alex Cherry, Dimwit, Greg Beckwith, Furious 50s, Martin Liam, Cleveland Treasure, Vinnie Gerard, and Caulfield, Alex Cherry, a good big field of 18 then for one of the most prestigious National Hunt handicaps. This is the big one of the big three, along with the Hennessy and the Whitbread for me, and away they go. And they race down towards the first then of the fences and Gold Coast is going to leave them. Oh, he lost one already. It's Carbon Neutral that's gone. So Carbon Neutral has gone for Graham Clutterbuck at the very first of the 16 fences. And they're already at the second and the rest of the field climb over that one. Okay, with Gold Coast settled down to a clear lead of about four lengths from the Overlord who's just about showing second. Then Dimwit is in third as they get to the third. And they're all safely over that one. With Gold Coast settled down in front, leading by two to three lengths. They just sorted themselves out now in the pack to decide where they want to be. It looks like the ringer on the outside is going to try and come through into second and get across the across to the fence. Dimwit and Duffcock Collider currently occupying those two positions. David Robertson's on the horse, Satigon Chips. He's also close up alongside Swain Forkbeard in the Leon Van Rensburg Blue. Graham Clutterbuck had the four at the first. His second runner is running one on the outside. That shooting star, one of the red hot favourites for this, and he won the last two weeks on the trot. They're all over the fourth with Quantum Leap, just the back marker, but it's Gold Coast who leads them into the fifth. Over that one they go, and there was a mistake there by the ringer, and that one's shuffled right down the pack as they come up past the stand then. And take the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit, and then they swing out left-handed for a complete circuit of the track, and it's Gold Coast. Leads them over it. I'm in second place. Duffcock Collider. In fact, there's two to take her on the other course today. So there was a four there, and it's one of Leon's gone. Trick Fantasy. Trick Fantasy has gone. Uh, that one. So Leon not having the best of days so far. And Gold Coast is the leader, then racing uphill, then there and away from the stand with Duffcock Collider in second. Dimwit is in third, and then the Overlord is next as they get over the eighth. And that's the midway point in the jumping already. And they make their way then down there. Down to the back straight, and it's Gold Coast who leads by three or four. Two, Duffcock Collider in second, Dimwood is third, Sadigon Chips is four, and the Overlord is five, then Gated Complex and Swain Fort Beard, and then Sapphire and Steel, and the Ringer and Coalfield, and Quantum Leap after that one. And there's a faller there, it's the Ringer that's gone this time. Made a mistake earlier on in the race, and paid the price this time. They race down towards the water now, then with Gold Coast clearing the lead. Satigon Chips is in second, then Dimwit and Duffcock Collider after that. Bit of a gap to Swain Fortby and the Overlord. Gated Complex is next, then Coalfield looking for Shooting Star. That one's towards the back at the moment as they take this ditch. Over the ditch they go, slow jump there by the Shooting Star at the back, but it's Gold Coast. Into the 12th, Gold Coast leading the Mackerson Field then from Dimwit in second. Duffcock Collider is third. Satigon Chips is fourth. Then there's a gap to Swain Fort Be at the top weight. Coldfield's trying to get up the inside. Then the Overlord and Gated Complex. Quantum leaps after that. Verglas has made some ground. So too as Furious 50s as they get to the next ditch. And over that one they go. And the rest of them are all over it okay with Shooting Star. Just the back marker at this point. They're racing downhill now then, and Gold Coast has been in the lead all the way, trying to give Kevin Meenahan a big race double after his victory in the Henrietta night earlier. It's Dimwit in second. Duffcock Collider is in third. Swain Fortbeard now making a forward move. The one that's cruising around the outside is the Overlord in the Joshua Sutherland hoops. Also coming through his Furious 50s. Over the 14th they go. They've got just two more fences to take then now in the Mackison Gold Cup, and it's Gold Coast who's still in the lead. Three lengths clear. Swain Fortbeard is just second, Dimwit the Overlord, Duffcott Collider, plenty of chances, the one that got bulk for room there was Coalfield, as
as they come round there to swing towards home. They've still got the two fences to take in the straight. And it's Gold Coast in the lead. The Overlord looks a big challenger on the outside. So too does Cleveland Treasure. Gated Conflict. Swain Fort Beard. Sapphire and Steel over the second last they go. And it's Gold Coast still in the lead. One more fence to take. Gold Coast comes to it. Takes it nicely. Gets over it well in the lead. But here comes Cleveland Treasure. The Overlord Gated Complex. Sapphire and Steel. Northern Life is trying to get into it as well. But it's Cleveland Treasure just getting up on the outside. Cleveland Treasure by a length for Vinnie Gerard. It's Cleveland Treasure who's racing up towards the line. And Cleveland Treasure is just going to hang on and take him in the first finishing gated complex. And then Gold Coast, Duff got Collider, and Northern Life. And Sapphire and Steel was up there as well. And Kimmy Mina has done to him what he did to somebody else in the last race. And in fact, it was Darren Thompson. Was it? Darren Thompson has been second twice. But it's Cleveland Treasure for Vinnie Gerard that takes it. So the Mackison winner goes to a horse running out of the handicap. Cleveland Treasure for Vinnie Gerard, the winner. Gated Complex for Darren Thompson was second. Gold Coast giving me down third. Sapphire and Steel for Martin Lina was fourth. And the fifth place horse, when it comes back down again, was Northern Life for Kevin Minahan.